This is for He Who Is Mighty. I'm Susan Cordero, and I'm so excited to have you here. I still can't believe I'm still doing this, and this is still super weird to me and super out of my comfort zone, and talking to a camera is still kind of weird, but I'm only doing it for King Jesus, and that is the only reason why I'm still here. Thank you for all the people who have been watching and have been keeping up with all the videos. I am praying for you all, and I hope you feel encouraged with all the videos. And today's video is special. I say that about every video, but to me they are special. We're going to be getting into the Christmas season, and there's this word called Advent. I don't know if you've heard of this word or if you know the meaning of it, but Advent means the coming or the waiting of something, and in this season, it's the coming of King Jesus or the the waiting of the birth of King Jesus and I've heard about the Advent countdown before but I've never actually taken part of it so this year I decided I do want to do something counting down taking part of the Advent season. Today is more of like an arts and crafts day. My brother Obu helped me, my housemate Ovel, I call him brother Obu, but he helped me with this and we're gonna make a calendar so that we can stay focused on Jesus throughout this whole month of December. So my plan is that we're gonna count down from December 1st all the way to December 24th, and every day we're gonna pick a card, and in that card we will have three things. We will have a Bible verse that reminds us about Jesus, <laughs> something about Jesus. We will have uh, something we're grateful for, and we will have a person that we wanna pray for. We wanna be more intentional in praying for people, and so we made a list of people that we normally don't ever pray for, and we put that for every day during December, and then we also put something we're grateful, because obviously we wanna come with a grateful heart, because there's always so much to be grateful for. I'm excited to do this, and I'm excited to have David and Ovel do this with me, and I hope that you feel encouraged and you do something similar to this. You don't have to do a whole calendar, you can honestly just write it on a piece of paper, and go through with it. I don't know, up to you, but it's honestly as simple as just being more intentional every day so that you are refocused on the whole reason for the season. Uh, it's super cliche, but Jesus is the reason for the season. And so I just hope that, yeah, during this time that you just remember, like, this is, this is Jesus coming down as a full human, fully God, like, he is coming down to earth to change the way life is, to just change up the whole system, to just, he is here to do something crazy. And so I think it's cool that we get to celebrate. To some people, it's just Christmas is just hanging out with family and gifts, but to us as believers of Jesus, we do believe that Jesus is the whole reason for this season. So. I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think down below and then give me ideas for future videos, um, what you might want to see. I have a couple of ideas and I think at this point I'm still kind of like, wait, I'm still doing this? Like why? <laughs> and it's kind of just trying to realize like I'm still literally doing this for Jesus, keeping that mindset. So keep me in your prayers, but I'm also keeping you in my prayers because I do cherish all of you and I care for you all and I love you in the name of Jesus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this giant frame that we're using. It looks like it's nothing, but there's actually a ton of little dots. How do I focus? a lot of dots. This one's the story of Gideon. I don't know if you can see. Visual theology. Shout out to them. Um, anyway, so I'm going to use this and I'm going to put this brown paper on it to cover it and then that's how we will start our calendar. Trying to yell where you at? Why pain gotta chain us? Will it undo? 
just never have to pay up. Yeah, yeah, joy comes if we wait up. Even came in the flesh long ago to obtain us. Gonna send it my way. On 10, cause he been in my gaze. Can't live like I'm still in my grave. Lays dim when I'm feeling blase. Now me and my squad just gonna feast on the bliss he proud us. Why wait for the Myra? Joy came and he cowed us. I'ma send that. More than we deserve, yeah. I'ma have to spread the word. Good news for the hood dudes trying to make it work, yeah. Joy to the world, yeah. To the little boys and the girls, yeah. For the bright days and the dark nights, it'll be alright. God gon' keep his word, yeah. I know that things gon' change now. The kingdom come, make it will be done. And his kingdom come, amen. If you believe me, you can say amen, yeah, yeah. Showing all my soul somehow, amen. I hear the whole world say amen. Yeah. turned out to be before we had our giant poster like I had shown you guys before super easy you guys I just wrote the coming of our king Ovel helped me draw these they're so cute we didn't even need to like buy anything Christmassy like we just he just drew them and colored them with colored pencils and then we have our 1 through 24 and each one let's see what 18 is oh you can't really see each one has a Bible verse 2 Corinthians 9 and 7, and then we're grateful for Chick-fil-A, and we're praying for Pastor Israel and Rosie. So that's just an example of what we have, and so that's what every day will look like for us in December. So for materials, I honestly just used everything that I have at home. I didn't even run to the store. I just found all these things in my closet. I had the brown construction paper that... We used for the background. I had white construction paper to make the little tags that Ovel helped me with. I just used a Sharpie and we had colored pencils and that's how Ovel made those cute little Christmas things. And then I had the string already and the clothespins I had for my wedding that I didn't use. So all of it was already accessible and I already had it. Super easy, super simple. I think it came out kind of cute. I'm not a perfectionist, so I'm not very like picky and I'm not very like, I don't know. Is that just me? Maybe, but it's fine. But so I'm very happy with how it came out because either way, it's just going to be used for a countdown of King Jesus. It's his birthday. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.